Hey Free Spirits! So today we are going to be working the core, also known as your powerhouse, but we are also going to be focusing on using control with those core muscles. And then we're also going to give some love to the legs. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to take it down to the mat. Reminder, Pilates is a mind-body practice, so we're going to take this moment to connect the mind and the body. So you can close your eyes if you want, and we're going to do some Pilates breathing. So take a nice deep inhale through the nose, and when you do that, feel the lungs really fill up. And then when you exhale through the mouth, you're going to push all of that air out. So you allow fresh, invigorating breath back into the body on this next inhale. Feel the ribs expand out to the sides. And when you exhale, the ribs are going to come back together and again, pushing that stale air and energy out. And one more. Nice deep inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. And let's go ahead and move right into our 100. We're going to bring the legs up so those shins are parallel to the ceiling. We're going to take the hands and lift them up and then raise the head and the chest up. And let's pump those arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five four, five. Now you can also, if your neck starts to hurt, you can take that hand behind the head, give your head a little bit of a rest, just make sure you switch after your 10 count. And then for those of you that are ready to move it on up, we're going to extend the leg straight up. And then you can open up those feet to form a V. And then if you want to take it a step further, you can lower it down. And if you want to go even further, you can lower it down even more. And let's get that energy and blood pumping through the body. Create some heat. Feeling nice and good. Warming up here. Let's do one more. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Relax the hands. Bend the knees. Lower the head. And just a brief rest here. We're going to move right along. So we're going to extend those legs out and point those toes, bring the feet together, and we're going to take the arms up and drop them back. Notice how your back wants to arch, so you want to work against that. Use those muscles of the core so you flatten that, the, I'm sorry, bring the navel to the spine and the spine will flatten a little bit more to the mat. Let's go into that roll up. Take a nice deep inhale. When you exhale, take the hands up, roll on up. Say you get stuck here, bend your knees, grab behind the thighs, and pull yourself on up. Extend the legs out straight. We're going to reach up and over like we're reaching over a giant beach ball. And then we're going to inhale, arms come up straight. This is where that control thing happens. Start to lower down one vertebrae at a time as you roll down. So instead of plopping, notice the control there. Inhale. And exhale, rolling up. Get up to the top, reach up and over. So it's not a forward fold here. And inhale and exhale, roll down. No plopping down, remember? One more. Inhale and exhale, rolling up. Reach up and over. And then come on up straight and let's roll back down. Now, if you feel pretty good and confident in that roll up, go ahead and roll yourself up. For everybody else, we're gonna roll to the side and press into the mat to push ourselves up. We're gonna come to the front of our mat for some rolling. So I'm gonna do an angle this way for rolling like a ball. You're gonna bring your feet and your knees together. You're gonna take your hands on the front part of the shins. You're gonna raise one foot up and then the other. This is our balance point. So if you feel pretty unstable here, you need a little bit of work, practice in this position. If you've been told not to put any pressure on um, your tailbone or anything, go ahead and just leave this exercise out. But for the rest of us, we're gonna roll. So we're gonna tuck our chin to our chest, so we're looking at our belly button, 
and then roll back to the tips of the shoulder blades and then roll back up to that balance point. Think of yourself as a little ball. We have Easter coming up, so think of yourself as a little Easter egg rolling. And exhale, come on up. Again, this is all about control. So we're not just rolling back all willy-nilly and using momentum to roll forwards and backwards. Let's do two more. Inhale and exhale. One more. Inhale and exhale. Very good. So let's extend the legs out straight. Bring the hands up and let's practice that control and roll back down. When you get down to your mat, take your hands behind your head, pull your left knee into your chest and then your right knee. We're gonna point the toes and then raise the head and the chest up. So I really want you to imagine there's like a, maybe a flat board. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna push that board away and then we're gonna bring it back in. And we're gonna push and bring it back in. Push and back in. So the lower you go, the more challenging this is going to be on you. If you need to modify for any reason, you can extend those feet straight up. And let's go for three more. Push it out. Feel these muscles working. Two, keep pointing those toes. You may get a little cramp. And one, and just kind of roll the ankles around, lower the head, and then bring those feet to a flexed position. Let's lift our head and our chest back up. That flat board, we're trying to push it away and bring it back in. The entire time that you're working, those toes are trying to pull back towards your face. Obviously, that's not going to happen unless if you have some like crazy long toes. <laughs> and push and bring it back in. Push against that flat board and back in. Push and let's go three more. Two. Keep those feet flexed. One. And roll those ankles around. And bring those feet back up. Stay lifted. We're going to open up at the feet to form a V and then move the knees away from each other. And then you're going to push the legs out. Feet are flexed in a V. And pull it back in. And push. So this is a frog position. So channel your inner frog and push in and push keep that belly nice and flat keep those feet flexed this is part of a footwork series so in and out you'll get some work into the legs here four more three as well as your midsection two one more and bring it back in lower the head and just roll those feet out, or I'm sorry, the ankles. Now, we're gonna come up to a seated position, so if you wanna go into your roll up, go ahead and roll on up, or you can roll to the side and press yourself up. We're gonna do a little bit more um, spinal, one more spinal exercise just to work on that control. So we're gonna take the feet Bring them out in front of us, sitting up nice and tall. Those feet are flexed. Probably feel this a little bit in the feet if you were really pointing and flexing when you were doing those exercises. Sit up nice and tall like your back is up flat against a wall and then take those arms straight out in front of you, zombie style. And we're gonna inhale, tuck the chin and exhale. We're gonna reach over like we're reaching over that giant beach ball yet again. Inhale. And then exhale, come on back up, stacking the vertebrae one at a time. The head will be the last thing to come up. Inhale, tuck the chin, flex those feet. Exhale, reach up and over like you're lifting out of the hips and bringing your chest over your thighs. Inhale and exhale, stack it back up. Reflex those feet. Inhale, tuck the chin. Exhale, reach up and over. Lift out of those hips. Inhale and exhale, stack it back up, sit up nice and tall and relax everything down. And we're gonna use that control again. So bend the knees, feet flat on the ground,
Grab behind the thighs or you can extend out and roll down with control. And let's go into a little bit more leg work. We're going to extend that right leg out nice and straight. We're going to activate the quad and then you're going to lift that right leg up to where the right knee meets the left knee and lower down and lift and lower, lift and lower. Two more up and down. One more and let's add a flex. So raise it up, flex it and lower. Point, raise, flex and lower. Point, raise, flex and lower. Very nice. Two more. If your back starts to hurt at all, you can make your little diamond and just place it underneath your tailbone. All right, let's drop that foot out so we're making half of a V with that right foot. And we're gonna work the inner thigh here and use that inner thigh to lift up knee to knee. Up and down. Good, up and down. Two more, up and down. Moving real quick here. And down. All right, bring that right, bend that right knee and let's switch over to that left leg. All right, let's work that left leg. So we're gonna extend the left leg out, lock the front thigh out, and lift knee to knee. The reason I'm having you lock that quad out is because if you don't use the quad, the hip flexor is gonna take over, and the hip flexor gets enough work. So we wanna work the thigh, the front of the thigh. Very good. Let's raise it up, flex it, and lower it down. Point, raise, flex, and lower. Good, point, raise, flex, and lower. We only have two more, and one to go. And let's drop that foot out, and use that inner thigh to lift up, and lower down, targeting all the muscles of the legs, even down into the feet from that little footwork series, quick series that we did. And let's go one more. Beautiful. And let's roll to the side and we're gonna push ourselves up because we are going to do some teaser work here. All right, last thing, ultimate control of the powerhouse. So we're gonna bring our feet together and our knees together, glue those knees and the feet together. We're gonna extend the arms out, and I want you to lean back slightly. So we're not sitting up really tall, we're leaning back, like you're chilling in a recliner, an invisible recliner. All right, so if this is challenging for you, and you feel maybe I may not be able to get back up in this, I want you to sit in this position. This is gonna work all of the muscles that we need to work for the teaser. All right. So let's use that control and we're gonna lower down. And once we get down, we're gonna drop those hands behind us. I'm going to readjust myself here. All right, so we're gonna take a nice deep inhale and when we exhale, we're gonna take the hands up and come on up to that same exact position. Yeah, very good. And with control, let's lower down. Drop those hands behind you. And let's do one more. Inhale and exhale. Come on up. Very good. And lower back down. All right, let's take it a step further. Extend that left leg out. Those knees are glued together. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale, come on up, reach, shoulders relaxed, and let's lower back down, control, and bend that left knee, let's extend the right leg out, knees glued together, use your breath, inhale, and exhale, come on up, beautiful, and lower back down. So you have those two options that you can do, if you feel like those two are enough, go ahead and stay there. We're gonna do two regular teasers so you can choose which level you want to stay at. Let's pull both of the knees into the chest. This will be the last one. Extend the legs up and then lower the legs down 
to about a 45 degree angle. Same thing. So wherever you're at, let's do it together. Nice deep inhale. And then exhale. Come on up. See this? I'm shaking a little bit. And lower back down. Nice and controlled. Let's do one more. Inhale. And exhale. Come on up. That breath works. All right, I'm going to torch you a little bit more. We're going to lower the legs down for three, two, and one. Sit up straight. Sit up straight. And lower back down with control. Drop the hands behind. Pull the knees into the chest. And rock it out. And then let's roll to the side and press ourselves on up. Coming to a cross-legged position, sitting up nice and tall. You can close your eyes, drop those hands out to the side, take a nice deep inhale as you bring those arms up over the head and exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And on this last inhale, just give yourself a big pat on the back and put a smile on your face as you drop those hands down. Great work today, you guys. I hope that powerhouse is feeling controlled and nice and strong and those legs are feeling stronger today too. If you like the video, please let me know in the comment section if you have any suggestions or videos that you would like to see. Feel free to put them in the comment section. Peace out, y'all.